Hi, this is Jelana Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to talk about plum tree fungus. Now, if you've got plum trees in the Northwest, especially any area where we have really wet winters, then you've probably had a problem with plum tree fungus. And what happens is that there's so much moisture in the spring and the fall that the plum trees just start to rot. They get fungus on them, just like in your shower, there's fungus starts to grow. And so what happens is that the leaves and the branches will start turning brown and there'll be brown spots on them and they get very soft. So the only way that you can control the plum tree fungus is to put a fungicide in it on the trees in the middle of the summer. So that's first. There's different types of fungicides that you can use, but the natural ones are better than any of the types that use any types of synthetic chemicals. And it's just basically a powder that dries it out. And so you can help the tree itself too by making sure and thinning it out every year. Make sure and prune your plum trees as soon as they're done bearing fruit every year. So as soon as you've picked the plums off of them, just trim it down one third. Make sure it's not one third as big as it was before. And trim out all of the inside wild branches so that you only have a few main branches and not lots of wild branches in the middle. And that way there's a good airflow because you want a good airflow in the middle of the tree in the spring and the summer because if it's real dense branches there's no airflow and it will be more susceptible to the fungus and they're finding because Japan is such a wet area as well that a lot of the Japanese native plums do really well in wet areas as opposed as as opposed to the Italian plums because a lot of the Italian plums are from a drier region so when you plant them in the northwest they're not used to all the water in the spring and the fall and they do get the fungus so get varieties that are more susceptible to um, wet conditions and that can handle it a little bit better. Prune it really well, cut out all of the dead branches, cut out a lot of the extra branches in the middle so it can get some more air. Make sure they're getting full sun and make sure that they're getting really dry in between the watering if you're watering them in the summer. And if it's still a problem, a little bit of fungicide applied in the summer can help too. But in the end, I found it's better to not to use any chemicals and to select the varieties of the plums that aren't as susceptible to fungus as the others.